It is nice now, but this year, as you saw from Patrick a few minutes ago, it's uh, pretty much the wettest spring on record around the area. And as Fox 11's Kristen Crowley explains tonight, crops are still suffering as a result. Lately, Sunny Hill Farm in Swamico has been far from sunny. Weather is something you can't control. A rainy spring and summer has put farmers like Roland Brunts a tad behind. The tomatoes should be a lot further along, but all the cold weather, the late start, yeah, it is kind of a battle. Um, it's later, I think, than normal. Normally we're here a little earlier in June. Tomatoes aren't the only crops getting a late start. When it comes to strawberry picking... I'd say a week off. We're a week off. There's a lot of white ones yet. They'll be back, back around, I'm sure. Kelly Bainan picks strawberries with her family at Sunny Hill Farm every year. And she says this year, rain has put a damper on most of her outdoor plans. <laughs> My darn kids sure want their summer and to get outside. Brunt says he can't do much to move the strawberries along, but he is taking certain measures this year with some of his crops against Mother Nature. This really gives them a shot of the right type of stuff to make you know, to make it grow fast. Green plastic lines his tomato and potato plants to help regulate temperature and protect from excessive rain. But with that protection comes an added cost. Still, Brunt says with the whirlwind weather this year, it's better to pay a little more for a crop than have no crop at all. That's truly, you know, tragic because, you know, you only you get to do this once a year and if you miss out in the spring, uh, well, you just lost the whole year and it's it's just too bad. On the brighter side, Brunt says his corn crop is looking good, but with at least two months left before it's ready to pick, he knows it's not in the clear yet. You know, you get hail in this area, but this looks very, very hopeful. And you, and you always have to be positive all the time. A farmer ha is positive. In Swamico, Kristen Crowley, Fox 11 News.